Hi everybody, this is Jane Jones from Catamount Carpet Cleaning. I'm here to introduce Don. He's the mold expert and he's going to tell us in this clip about mold toxicity and how it affects people. Hi folks. Uh, mold affects everybody differently. Uh, it affects the very old and the very young the most. It affects people that are immune deficient, asthmatics. It really affects asthmatics. Everybody has a different tolerance to mold. Mold will grow in a home if the environment is is a, is at the right condition. Relative humidity has got to be over 60 percent. Has to have moisture, a food source, darkness, heat. If you have all those things in conjunction with each other together, you have a perfect environment for a, a mold farm, if you will. And here in the Northeast, a lot of our homes are second homes that are not used uh, very often and they're closed up. A lot of them are finished basements, all living space, carpet, bedrooms, etc. And if there's any type of water intrusion, a leaky foundation, and they wind up sitting for any length of time, uh, when the homeowners come up, they have a, they have a mold issue. So mold is, uh, will affect wicker problems or products, leather, sheetrock, uh, cotton fabrics, newspaper, cardboard boxes, wood left laying around on the floor, that's all considered a food source. And one of the fallacies, if you will, about mold is that bleach will kill mold. Well, bleach will not kill mold. What bleach does is it wipes off the black excrement that mold creates when it eats and digests. That's why people have products like Tylex in their bathroom, because that's a perfect environment for mold and they have to clean it on a weekly basis. And in, in sense, they're only cleaning off the excrement from the mold because the spores are still viable. So in order to remediate the mold, uh, if it's a small job less than 10 square feet, you can probably handle it yourself. But if it's over 10 square feet, we handle mold according to the New York State guidelines, you really should call in a professional. If you're going to take care of it yourself, you need to wear proper protection, a mask, gloves, and uh, really protect yourself because mold is a dangerous substance. So tell me, Don, uh, uh, what we see on the sheetrock, if there's mold and the black stuff, we're really talking about mold poop, right? Uh, that's correct. That's exactly it is. <laughs> it's mold poop. And there's uh, three types of mold uh, that are toxic, to, that are, will cause you serious problems. One is a black stachybotrys mold, which is very difficult to get that the spores airborne on stachybotrys because it needs a a really wet environment to grow. But that is one of the most dangerous molds. And then there's Aspergillus, uh, Penicillium. There's a lot of different molds out there that will cause irritants and, and problems with your respiratory system and things if you're affected by it. Thank you, Don.